Hi guys, welcome back to Junri's Vlog Reacts. Reaction. Pasi ba to Russian friends? Let's go to Russia once again. The title of the video that we need to do some reaction for today because since we love weaponry and military like capability, artillery of Russia, and this is another like uh, weapons of Russia that it's new also that I know that you are excited to see also with this one. And the title of this video that we need to do reaction for today is Insane Russia Weapons That Are Feared by the US and Israel you cannot find in US military. Wow, this is so amazing also. And credit to the owner also with the video. Military update, I'll put to the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. And if you're new to my channel, just click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads. And if you have some comments and suggestions related to this video, guys, or any reaction or any video that you can suggest, drop it on the comment section. I'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request. So let's get to it, guys. I'm so excited. And let's get to know more about this uh, information of this bit k 300 p or bastion p is a russian uh, mobile coastal defense missile system the p letter in the uh, designation denotes uh, mobile so p stands for the mobile this coastal defense missile system is known in the west as ssc5 or stooge development began in the 1990s so let's get to it guys and i hope you'll be having fun and enjoy watching with this amazing video because I'm always excited like watching a new uh, weaponry of Russia. Wow. This is huge. Oh goodness. Wow, really? What the heck? Those were insane weaponry. It's my first time to see this like huge weaponry. So the, the so-called like the K300P. This is like insanely huge. How do you make this? Goodness gracious. Like this is a real weapon. This is so real. That was like long range, even like going to the sea. So in the the target are in the like but this is like seriously incredible. Holy moly. Wow. 
One of the ubiquitous buzzwords in national security circles the last few years is anti-access area denial, or A2-slash-AD. This term of art refers to the capability of long-range missile systems, fielded by China and Russia, that could theoretically threaten vast swathes of territory, in theory denying access to those areas. One common focus of A2-slash-AD anxiety concerns Russia's Bastion P mobile coastal defense systems, mm -hmm. less impressively designated SSC. Five Stooge by NATO, which can launch supersonic P-800 anti-ship missiles from a truck-based launcher. Russian analysts really? write with satisfaction that the Bastion can shoot not only through a considerable part of the territory of Poland, Germany and the Baltic countries, but also it can actually block the entrance to the Baltic Sea from the Atlantic. Wow. The situation in the Far East looks even more serious. The bastion deployed to the Kuril Islands is able to block any naval activity in the area of the Japanese island of Hokkaido. Russia's coastal defense Seriously? systems deployed in Crimea are also capable, in the opinion of the chief of the Russian general staff Valery Gerasimov, to block the Bosporus, but, like any popular idea, the concept of A2-slash-AD has incited some backlash in recent years. Wow. For example, a 2019 report argued that A2-slash-AD capable weapons have been overhyped because they aren't very effective at their maximum range and are limited more by the range of their sensors than their missiles. Furthermore, the term A2 slash ad seemingly conflates the ability to inflict losses for the ability to completely shut down access to a region in September 2019. Mm -hmm. Security analyst Michael Kaufman published a critique of A2 slash ad on War on the Rocks. In his view, A2 slash ad was formulated to describe Chinese strategy in the Asia Pacific, and has been inaccurately extended to Russian capabilities in Eastern Europe. This, he argues, is a result of simplistically assuming that similar technologies fielded by China and Russia will necessarily be used in the same manner. Oh After all, really? the Russian military doesn't even have a homegrown term for A2 slash AD, using instead an English translation. According to Kaufman, Russian doctrine does not seek to maximize geographic coverage of its so-called A2 slash AD systems, but rather concentrates them on critical areas while leveraging long-range capabilities to selectively support offensive and defensive operational concepts Russian military planners, oh. he writes, are under no illusion that their missile systems form an impermeable defensive bubble that can survive indefinitely against attacks by U.S. stealth jets and cruise missiles. Thus, such weapons are intended to be used judiciously to impose costs and delays, protect a small number of key areas and shape adversary operations around them. Each battery is composed of four 8x8K340P launcher vehicles, each carrying three crew and two 8-meter tall P-800 Onyx missiles. Mm -hmm. A further four K342P transloaders trucks each carry two missile reloads. The battery is controlled by a four-man crew in a K380P 6x6 command vehicle that can be deployed up to 15 miles away from each launcher. The vehicles are all-terrain capable, can deploy for launch in five minutes, and are made from a composite material that supposedly reduces their radar signature by a factor of 15 to 20. A Bastion P unit depends on other platforms to detect the presence of hostile ships, usually a monolith B over the horizon radar. However, it might also receive targeting data from drones, satellites, Tu-142 and IL-38 maritime patrolled planes and Ka-31 naval helicopters once enemy ships are located and identified. The missiles are provided with GLONASS coordinates, the Russian GPS equivalent, and a solid fuel rocket booster propels the 3.4-ton Onyx missile into the air. The booster is then ditched and a liquid fuel ramjet motor takes over for sustained flight at roughly two and a half times the speed of sound. The P-800 can either approach at high altitude for a maximum range of 186 to 210 miles, it's or skim just 15 feet above the surface it. the entire way to minimize odds of radar detection though only out to a 75 mile range. Ships are moving targets, so in the terminal stage, a P-800 dives down and activates a monopulse radar seeker with a search angle of 45 degrees. The seeker has two modes, a passive, anti-radar seeker designed to home in on cooperative targets that have turned on their own active radar, and frequency wow. hopping active radar seeker which can also supposedly identify state land targets. The Seekers are claimed to be resistant to chaff decoys and radar jamming. The Onyx high speed makes it very difficult to shoot down in the terminal phase, and its 440 to 550 pound warhead can inflict crippling damage upon even a large warship. 
the Russian Navy operates an estimated 50 Bastion P batteries, operating alongside larger numbers of Balkos defense systems that use smaller, subsonic KH-35 missiles with a range of 160 miles. Starting with three batteries of the 11th Missile Artillery Brigade stationed at Annaba on the Black Sea. A Bastion-equipped 15th Brigade was later employed in Sevastopol on the Crimean Peninsula after it was seized by Russian Special Forces in 2014. A silo-launched Bastion S variant is also slated for activation in 2020 in the Utahia's Object 100 Coastal Defense Fort on the Black Sea, which is wow. built into the side of a cliff. Another three units are based around Novaya Zemlya defending Russia's North Sea Fleet. On the Pacific Ocean, the Bastion P has outfitted the 520th Coastal Artillery Brigade in Kamchatka, as well as units deployed on the Kuril Islands of Idarip and Kunashir, which are subject to a dispute with Japan. There are also at least two Bastion launchers in the militarized enclave of Kaliningrad on the Baltic Sea. Russia has also exported two Bastion P batteries each to Vietnam, with 40 mm -hmm. missiles, and Syria, with 72 missiles. India, meanwhile, has developed its own variant of the P-800 Onyx missile, the Brahmos cruise missile, which is deploying on air, sea and truck-based platforms. Adding a grain of salt to A2-slash-ad hype in a separate blog post, Kaufman argues it's a mistake to put too much emphasis on the Bastion P, when maritime strike aircraft, most importantly the 222M3M bomber with the KH-32 cruise missile, as well as Su-24, Su-30, and Su-34 attack jet, followed by submarines and mines play a more important role in Russian maritime strategy after all, these can range further ahead and pose a threat to blue water naval forces that wouldn't need to enter a range of coastal defense missiles at all. However, he concedes coast defense missiles might still pose a problem for navies based on the Baltic. Mm. The article notes that the monolith B over the horizon search radar's range is fairly limited, 56 to 155 miles, unless used against a cooperative target that's emitting radar signals, which it can detect up 280 miles away. Therefore, a Bastion P battery may be highly dependent on targeting data transmitted by an intelligence surveillance reconnaissance ISR, aircraft. Russia also has a few larger Podsolnuki and Container Over the Horizon Radars OTHR, which wow. might theoretically assist in targeting, but which are not integrated into the battery's command structure. Russia's Liana Maritime Reconnaissance Satellite Constellation could also theoretically provide naval targeting data. However, it currently consists only of three Lotus Signals Intelligence Satellite. Oh my god. God, that was incredibly amazing. And allow me to read some information in this video, guys, because it was so impressive also watching with those new weaponry from Russia. Imagine how they, like, study the calculation of, like, the range of the bullets of, like, the missiles that it can reach. It's so, like, mind-blowing. And in the information, guys, the Bastion P is in the service with the Russian Armed Forces. First three systems were delivered to the Russian military in 2010. So this is like so fresh. These are in service with the Black Sea Fleet. Uh, latter additional missile system were delivered to the Black Sea Fleet, to the Northern Fleet. The coastal defense system has been exported to Syria. Two systems and Vietnam and two, uh, two systems also to other countries. My God, this is so incredible. Oh, they just like uh, giving, like they just uh, export also to other countries. And so amazing how they like studied this. What is the capable of this particular weaponry that we have? It's so incredible, guys. I was so impressed the way how it was made this video. And that was amazing also watching with this new weaponry of Russia. Wow. It's, they are very, very strong in terms of their artillery and their in terms of their like weapons also and thank you so much military update for this amazing video and if you want to see the full video guys it's in the description box below if you like this video guys you must i did just give a massive thumbs up like and share subscribe also with my channel this is junris blagadag react saying stay humble stay positive guys passive back to russian friends if you want to see my second channel guys it's in the description box below if you have some comments suggestions related to this video drop, drop it in the comment section i'd love to read and respond you'll make your video request see you on my next video reaction.